I can be really funny sometimes. I'll admit it myself. I'm, I have my witty moments, but the rest of the time, I'm about as awkward as a llama on a treadmill. Yeah, just imagine that for a second, everybody. Llama on a treadmill. So the first question on everybody's minds is probably, why in the world is Melanie wearing a sailor hat? The second question on everybody's minds is, where in the world did Melanie get a sailor hat? First question, I was challenged this week by Melissa Squared. By the way, love you guys, you guys make awesome videos, and I hope you guys sub for us more often because you're cool. Um, so they challenged me to wear a hat in this video, a ridiculous hat, and the most ridiculous one I could find is my sailor hat. Second question, where did I get it? I dance, and last year for my tap class, we danced to Sea Cruise, which is like this 50s song about sailors, and so we wore sailor outfits. And so now I have a sailor hat, which excites me because it's kind of awesome. I mean, who doesn't love sailor hats? Anyways, so that's my challenge this week. I've also been challenged to make as many Hunger Games references as possible, which for me normally would be about as just my odds of doing that are like a career winning the games, but today they're a little down there. My verbal skills today are like Katniss is an interview, not PETA. So you you might get some good Hunger Games references, but then again, Tracker Drackers may have infused my brain with madness and you may get none. We're gonna go with the none, probably. Uh, yeah, so it's Disney week, which excites me a lot because I freaking love Disney. Love it. Um, as you know from my last video, just Imagine Peta and Katniss's love for that lamb stew and times it by ten. That's how much I love Disney. Wait until you hear me talk about them, some things I love more than Disney. Another week, another time. Um, so yeah, my favorite Disney movies. We've got Bambi, Bambi 2, Aristocats, Lady and the Tramp, Mulan, Beauty and the Beast, Lion King. Didn't like Cinderella. Uh, Finding Nemo, The Incredibles, and Up. That's the top ten. Um, my favorite Disney song? I'll Make a Man of You from Mulan best song ever. Like, you guys remember Sling, Old Sunday? She was cool. Um, at art camp last summer, her and I would go around, and our other roommates would go around singing that song because we're cool like that. Um, we also all decided which Disney princesses we were. Sling was obviously Mulan. Um, I, I, who was I? I think I was Snow White, which is cool because then Once Upon a Time came along and made Snow White even awesomer than she already is. Jennifer Goodwin. Ah. Speaking of which, Adara also challenged us this the entire order this week. Talk about our favorite well-known actor or actress and our not so well-known actor or actress. Favorite well-known, Jennifer Goodwin. Most adorable freaking person in the entire planet. Like, ah, I just want to hug her. She's awesome, and she was awesome in Walk the Line too. Watch that movie if you haven't seen it, because she does a really good job. <laughs> so well-known actor, actress. Oh, don't, don't mind that. That's my phone vibrating. Uh, favorite not so well-known actor, actress is Lauren Lopez from Team Star Kid. I thought she was the funniest freaking person on this planet. If any of you have seen. Uh, AVPM, AVPS, or Starship. Funniest freaking person on this planet. Um, I watched Holy Musical Batman this weekend, and I was excited. But at the same time, I don't know. They didn't use Lauren Lopez like they could have. I mean, making a musical and not really using her is like Katniss going into a session with the game makers and not using a bow. But it was still successful. So, it was a good musical. Um, Nick Lang in underwear. Ah, Brian Holden. Ah, Joe Walker. Ah, my my life. It was just like. Ugh. It was great. Um. So yeah. That's where that comes from. What else was I gonna talk about this week? Um, it's Disney again. Uber, uber excited about that fact. Um, my sister's home from Harry Potter World and Florida and the rest of the places she was, but the Wizarding World of Harry Potter was obviously part I was most jealous about. Uh, she was, was awesome, I heard. Great, great times. 
uh, she brought me back a nice uh, Mickey Mouse pin, which is on our Disney week is fitting. And she also brought me back like a Cornish Pixie shirt from Potter World. Kind of hoping for Hufflepuff memorabilia, but I won't complain because she's still an awesome sister for me bringing me back stuff. On topic of Disney week though, when we were like, when I was six and she was three, Lady and the Tramp, favorite Disney movie. She ripped all the tape out of our video cassette of it. I was so mad at her. Err. But it's okay, because it's all good. We're good sisterly, sisterly love. So in honor of the wonders of me having to make Hunger Games references, which I'm kind of failing at, but it's okay. In honor of the wonders of me having to make Hunger Games references, I'm going to do my challenge with my collectible Hunger Games cup. You see, I can't find a die anywhere in my house. It's kind of weird. I went and tried to steal one from my sister's Phineas and Ferb Sorry game, and then realized Sorry doesn't use dice. So, and I couldn't find any other board games to steal from, and I'll have a dice next week, but I might as well use my cup this week. So all of your names, well, all the other order people's names, are on handy-dandy slips of paper in this cup. And so I'll just draw one, and we'll be good to go. Who will it be? Who will it be? I don't know. Oh, maybe I should say what the challenge is first. Um, whoever I draw for my cup this week, I want you to write and recite a poem about an inanimate object. It could be an ode to your hairbrush, a limerick for your refrigerator, a haiku about your toaster. I don't care, but write me something and say it in your video. I like poetry and I like inanimate objects, so a combo should be good. Anyway, so we've got... Ashley! Have fun with that, Ashley! You get to write and recite a poem about an inanimate object. It doesn't matter how long it is, how short it is, if it rhymes, if it's a song. I don't care, but make it something awesome, because that's always good. Onward. Uh, today was super mega foxy awesome hot, because it's Sunday again, which blows my mind, because it's only... Spring break seemed to kind of whoosh past last Sunday when I did my first video, which, by the way, I apologize for. It was kind of down there on the quality levels. I'm uh, just getting my footings on the making YouTube videos front, and I was really tired last week. Anyways, last week when I made my first YouTube video, it was kind of the start of spring break, and now today, last day of spring break before tomorrow we go back to school. So, yeah. I mean... I like school, but at the same time, yeah. So yeah, today's for Make Foxy Awesome Hot because it's Sunday. This is a simple fact. I'll have better reasons next time because the awesomeness, like, awesomeness of it won't go away necessarily, but it'll be less genuine for the fact of this being my second Sunday once I'm at, like, my tenth Sunday or whatever. But yeah, so excited about that. And I'm wearing a sailor hat, which makes every day even always better. Sailor hats make everything better. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's about it. Um, I wish I had more to say, but my references are about as plentiful as water in the Hunger Games arena. If only things came floating down on little silver parachutes like sponsor gifts, but they don't. Um, oh, I had a really good Hunger Games reference the other day on Twitter that I thought was really witty, and I'm occasionally witty sometimes. Sometimes um, it was like. I was eating popcorn, and it was burnt. And I'm like, wow, this popcorn's so burnt, Peter would have thrown it to Katniss in the rain. It was like a zinger. I was so proud of that. Anyways, I'll stop talking now, because I'm a rambler. Anyways, I think that's it. Uh, yeah. So, DFTVA, my friends, and Robin, I'm going to see you tomorrow. That is mahogany.